Of course, both of last night's VP nominees are being accused of stretching the truth during that debate at times. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen is here with a bit of a fact check. When they weren't tripping over each other, the Senator, I think, I think I'm still on my time. Well, I think, are, isn't this a discussion? The vice presidential nominees occasionally tripped up their facts. Exhibit A, Senator Kane's claim on Hillary Clinton's behalf about the Iran nuclear deal. She worked a tough negotiation with nations around the world to eliminate the Iranian nuclear weapons program without firing a to shot. Eliminate the Iranian nuclear at, weapons absolutely program. Absolutely. With in fact, the deal preserved Iran's nuclear program, with the regime still permitted, for example, to enrich uranium to low levels. And many analysts warn that with various sunset clauses expiring in 2026, 2031, and beyond, Iran could well resume the activities needed to produce a nuclear weapon. Exhibit B. This is one where we can just kind of go to the tape on it. But Governor Pence said, inarguably, Vladimir Putin is a better leader than President Biden. That is absolutely in our, a, and, inaccurate. And, and, and. In fact, if we go to the video, Governor Pence said almost exactly what Tim Kaine said he said. I think it's inarguable uh, that Vladimir Putin has been a stronger leader in his country than Barack Obama has been in this country. Pence faulted Secretary Clinton for failing to negotiate a status of forces agreement that would have allowed U.S. combat forces to remain in Iraq under requisite legal protections beyond 2011. Kaine blamed the Iraqis for torpedoing those negotiations. And guess what? If a nation where our troops are serving does not want us to stay. We're not going to stay it without them being It was a failure. Protected. In fact, by the time President Obama leaves office, some 5,000 troops will remain in Iraq without those protections. And General David Petraeus recently shed further light on this in an interview with the Fox News documentary unit. There was an opportunity, I do think, if we pursued it aggressively, to keep forces there, perhaps to do it without a status force agreement. He never said that, All right. Senator. And he is know absolutely it. decided. General Saudi Arabia, said, South Korea, Japan. In fact, Donald Trump has suggested those countries go nuclear. So North Korea has nukes. Japan has a problem with that. I mean, they have a big problem with it. Maybe they would, in fact, be better off if they defend themselves from North Korea. Maybe with we nukes. would be better off, including with nukes, yes. And Trump made similar comments to Anderson Cooper of CNN five days earlier about South Korea and Saudi Arabia. The exercise goes to show that if debates are a form of verbal combat, the first casualty in them, as in war itself, Brett, is very often the truth. All right, James, thank you.